Hey everybody, Fwip here, and welcome on back to Building with Fwip. Last episode, we started off this grand new castle that is looking pretty insane up here. It stands out above everything else that we have in the area. I think we set a pretty good palette for it. We've got some good build styles going. It's looking insane compared to the village down below, and it's very, very cool in this area. I'm so extremely happy with the end result of that one. It seems like a lot of people loved it as well. In today's episode, however, I would like to come throughout here and start working on bringing the wall that we have of this structure, moving it along this way a little bit better so we have a better idea of what this entire area looks like. So maybe even if we build the front facade of all of these structures, that could be pretty legit. However, I did have something I wanted to talk to you all about while we're kind of getting this one started. Recently, and mostly over the last few days, I've been just kind of messing around in this world, doing a few things here and there, just kind of getting some progress done with it, and been enjoying the survival side of things. But I will say, working in this area and working inside of this world has made me really, really want to go explore my old section of building with whip and go build in the old section a lot more i've been loving building over here don't get me wrong i think this area is awesome kind of playing with the idea of spending five more episodes or so over here maybe another two three weeks of working on this stuff and then we jump over to the old area and do some work over there i thought it'd be kind of fun to jump into a quick backup of this world that i took after finishing the last episode and actually show you all where we have to go on this one so if we speed our way all the way over here we're gonna be flying across a lot of terrain and this will give you actually all an idea of where I'm basing that new location. A lot of people have been searching for it. Here is your answer. We just keep going off in this direction and there's the dark oak forest. And right over here, we should be seeing the desert and my wonderful city of papyrus. We've got this area over here, which I think is so very cool. That'd be fun to work on, but the projects that I really wanna work on are a little bit further down the road over here. Namely being this gigantic port city that I've been working on. I want to come back over in here and build up more of these streets, these houses. The village that I've been building over on X-Life has really got me into wanting to build up more of this area and create that dense, compact area where just so many people are living. I just think it's so, so very fantastic. And finally, I want to move out over here back into the custom mountains that we've been building. If you haven't seen this world by chance, I do a lot of insane building projects. Everything you're seeing here has been built by hand in Minecraft survival mode, the mountains included. That one currently goes all the way up to, I think seven blocks shy of world height. So we've got a little bit more space that we can work with here, but these mountains were supposed to go further and further back and create an entire mountain range. And as of right now, they're very, very empty underneath. So I've been really wanting to come back in here, getting some crazy terraforming going and getting some more work done then done on this area. So I'm curious, let me know in the comments below if you wanna see me moving back over to this area or do we stay in the fantasy area for a while? Let's go with hashtag old world or hashtag new world down in the comments below. Old world to, stay, to come back over here, new world to stay in that new area. Let me know what you gotta say in the comments down below, folks. But here's the build that we finished up just before moving to the fantasy district. I love this village down here. I think it is so very cool. Playlist for all this stuff down in the description below, but let's get back to the castle and work on that a bit more. As I was jumping back over to this world, I was doing a little bit of math here. And this is actually episode 299 inside of this world. And that's absolutely insane. So, wow. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for everybody who's watched 298 episodes and now 299, that's crazy. Should we do anything big for episode 300? Or do we just kind of do like a mega episode and do a lot of work on this castle here? I've got to chop down all these oak trees over there here soon. But right now, what I want to do is I want to work on the front face of this entire area over here, make it a little bit more of like a rampart section to it. So it's not just going directly into like cliff into this big old tower format that we've done. I want to do a little bit of like a covered ramparty walkway. So without any further ado, folks, let's go ahead and kick this off in a good old fashioned time lapse mode.
It's one of those things when you're building with replay mod, you don't really get to see what's going on with your build because you're kind of like, well, I'm in the middle of it. I've just got to keep placing the block so it looks good in the time lapse. And well, now that I'm back here looking at it, those stand out a little too much to me. I think if we just leave it, when I was looking at the replay, it looked like when we just had these stems in there with that little bit of that darker color, right? Like in that, I think that'll actually work better. So I'm gonna replace those in there real fast. But it's one of those things where sometimes you're just working and it's like, well, it looks good close up. Like back in here, it didn't look too terrible. So, you know, we I was just like, maybe it'll be fine. All right, well, we got to be careful how we're placing these ones in here. So maybe I'm just going to chop all these out first. But one funny thing happened while I was working on this build so far is the uh, the scroll wheel on my mouse broke. So I was just building away, doing all this stuff, and I was like scrolling to get to my sword or to get to my torch or something. And just out of nowhere, it just stopped working. It had one of those moments of like, you kind of like scroll the scroll wheel on your mouse. You're like, we're good, we're good, it's moving. And then it's just like, no, it didn't grab all the way. Oh gosh, what's happening? And then a few seconds later, it's just like, well, and there it goes, now it's dead. Thankfully I had a second mouse lying around, but now I've got a, a new one coming anyway. So that'd be good to fix things up in the future. But it's amazing how much like a small little Thing in minecraft you actually rely on for building and doing anything inside this game because the way i do select blocks like how i can just click there and it'll go to the crimson stem that's a middle mouse button click for me and so everything else is just it's just weird how they work off of each other one thing i did want to add back here though but we do this and then we just kind of bring in i guess this needs to be a full block as well and i will just do full blocks in here that'll be okay but just bringing these back in here up a little bit further and making it look a little bit more detailed than it was beforehand i just feel like it was getting a little flat back here a very very simple way to improve your building is making it sure that you don't have weird connecting textures like that unless it's a block that very very clearly works into the other ones around it otherwise you're just kind of like well this is uh, i guess it works so now you've got your flip tip building tip for the day is don't have connecting textures that are like this way is fine okay that looks about a million times better now what i'm thinking we got to do is i've got to work on the terraform down here below but before we do that i want to build up those structures up above them get those things worked out a little bit better and it's going to be more about the style that we have back in here i've been doing a lot of research online for this of how i want these to function because honestly i like these but what I love the most is this central piece right in here, the actual gate structure itself. These structures to me are just kind of like, eh, that's kind of basic Minecraft building stuff. Like it's pretty basic. There's not too much to them. They're very stacked up. And so I've been looking for a lot of designs online of how I can incorporate this style and still bring it over to do some cool stuff down in here. This bit of a progress update right here, folks, I think deserves the shaders. It is looking so extremely cool up there. I haven't really taken a step back from it yet. And this is kind of the first time I've been doing it. And I gotta say, the best source of inspiration I have found for this architecture style that I'm kind of going with here is Age of Empires 2. The architecture styles that they have for the buildings and things inside of the strategy game behind like the Asian fan, like dynasty races and everything like that. It's so, like the Japanese, the Chinese, and all those different factions you can play as. Oh my gosh, just looking at like the different levels of the watchtowers and things is how I was able to come up with this cool thing up there. And wow, it's looking really, really cool at this point. I've got one more to do, and then we've got the terraforming down below to tackle. And oh my gosh, I am this now, this now is starting to get that atmosphere that I want out of this build. Before I was like, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it, but now this right here, what we've got so far is what I've been looking for. Next up for this area, I was thinking we could tackle some of the terraforming around here because that's probably gonna be very important with setting the scene for ourselves. And I've been looking at this little area back here where I'm clearing these trees out kind of along the base of the roadside. And I've been thinking a waterfall coming out of the side of the castle mountain structure right in here, flowing downwards into a little bit of a pond, also kind of connecting up over into this one over here. I thought it could be a very cool and unique way that we can set this area up better, bringing in that same style that we did up there with the poppies, the oak leaves, and the bamboo everywhere. I feel like we can make something really, really sweet down here. And we've got this whole area that needs to get some stone cliffs, similar to how we have those ones structured. We've got all the style ele elements in here, folks, and it's time that we actually get these things built up. So for the second time in today's episode, let's go ahead and kick this off into good old-fashioned time-lapse mode and do some terraforming.
And here we have it, folks. It's looking pretty great down here. I did bring in a little bit of cobblestone and mossy stone into the walls themselves. And I've been slowly inching it up. Honestly, I gotta say, I really don't like this thing right over here. I think we're gonna have to redo that once we get around to it. The original plan was to put a tree on top of it, like one of those cherry blossoms, but I just, I don't really like the shape of that thing. So I think I'm gonna redo it here later. Then we got a nice little pondy spot down there, which I know was gonna flow into here, but it just, I don't know. It's this, this thing is in the way and it's not working. But what is working is this entrance leading up to our new castle. Oh my gosh, it's starting to feel like a actual location. It feels like it has substance to it and it feels like it belongs on top of the hill now, which is absolutely awesome. And one thing that we're gonna be doing now for the rest of today's episode, I was trying to think of a segue of something belonging. I can't think of it, so let's just get onto it. What I would like to do now is I would actually like to jump into the nether and wrangle up a few pigmen, but first and foremost, I need to, I need to find a way to get some, um, we need name tags, I think, right? For piglins? Let's go get the system set up. What I wanna do is I wanna get some piglins caught up and I wanna be able to, to trap them in there. And then if I need to, I'll come out and do some fishing. I really don't want to, but if we need to do fishing, we'll come out and do some fishing. But the idea is I need to, I need to get a piglin trading farm. So the reason for this is going to be because, well, in the new 1.16.2 update, Blackstone is being added to the list of things you can get out of piglin trading, which would be absolutely awesome. We can just throw gold at these guys, not these guys, we need the live ones. We can get free gravel as well as free Blackstone, which is this thing right here, which I'm using a lot of and planning to use a lot more often in the future. I know originally I said I hated the block, but the more I've used it, the more I've actually grown to like it. So what I'm thinking is right now we have this right in here. I wanted to have like a way to store them all underneath it. I thought that could be kind of cool. Ah, yes, my random hole in the ground that has a staircase to it. Don't look at the enderman, don't look at the enderman. Oh, you were trying to walk inside my path there, dude. That ain't nice. But over this way, we should be able to find a few of those piglins and there might be one right over here too. But I've got, I've got my gold safety helmet on. We're good to go there. And then I've got some gold ingots and don't look at the endermen. Where can we find some of these? There's one right over there. Let's see what we can do with him. Wait, he just disappeared. What the heck, man? Well, there's one right over there and there's apparently one of those things. I've never been to one of those before. What do they do? There he is. He just ran over the edge. You like this gold. You like this gold. No, you don't like the piglins. So take, take the gold. Take the gold. Take the gold. Do you give me anything? You like the gold. You love the gold. Anime girl gave me 13 nether bricks. Thanks, buddy. Is it now that I've traded with him? He's just like, you know what, dude? We're solid. I'm not gonna despawn. I'm also good. What ender post? What the heck? That's great. Ooh, that's uh. Let's not do those jumps. All right. Let's uh. We're. I know we are a professional at parkour and all mini games things. We're a champion after all. But let's be smart about this. Like you. Hey, you. Take that gold. You take this gold. Not the baby. Not the baby. I don't like the baby. The babies just steal from you. They're a thief. We got crying obsidian. Wait, that's so cool. So you can get gravel from these guys. You can get all that. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. And proof of concept, 12 gravel. Thanks, buddy. Let's go ahead and see what this thing has up here. I don't I don't really know where it goes. Oh, there's even a little chest. Why did I not find this thing before? It's just flint and steel though. There's a block of gold. Anybody around? He's going, you're not gonna see him. We're good. Sweet, we got, we got gold. <laughs> Oh, he did not like me taking the crying obsidian. Wait, buddy, come on, come on. All right, well, he's dealt with. Uh, he must have walked up the hallway. Let's go see if anybody else is gonna be friends with us. I uh, will just completely get rid of that. He'll never be able to tell which gold was ours versus which gold we just stole the block from, which wasn't even their thing. Can I have more free stuff? Please, before the gas. Before the gas blows up the gold, please give me something. Quartz? Wait, we are totally setting up a farm for these guys. I see why everybody's done it. I will protect you, piggy. We're gonna do a little bit of a test of this guy. Now that he's over here, we can just drop him down at this point. I We've traded with him a few times. I don't know if he's gonna, well, now I'm stuck in here with you. Uh, you. You stay there, I'll be back later. Here's another piece of gold, keep you happy. I've been setting up a railroad track to see if we can't get this guy back home. And unfortunately it looks like he despawned. I'm assuming we need a name tag for all of them. They don't think they lock in like villagers wherever you trade. But I have assembled a lot of mine carts and a lot of that stuff, which unfortunately aren't gonna be that great right now until I can do some fishing. So I've gotta go figure out ways to get name tags and that stuff. I do, however, have a railroad track set up right there and one set up right there that leads us all the way back up the top that we could actually take. It's very rare inside of Minecraft when I actually use minecarts to travel around, so I figured, why not? Let's go ahead and use this and make sure it actually works to get us all the way back home. And uh, we forgot that block. No, 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 no. 
Goodbye forever, minecart. Forgot there was lava coming down here that I had to deal with. Let's go ahead and throw another minecart down. And we're off all the way up this one. I use a lot more powered rails than I probably realistically needed. And it's going to take us into our new laboratory section underneath this little structure right there, which drops you into this point. I've been spending a good while decorating it out because I think we're going to build one of those farms in here. Not today. I just want to get a few of those guys in here to do some manual trading. You can come up here, get out of this way, and then we can walk all the way back up here. Just something underneath our little mini nether base I think will be great for being able to do this, but time for me to get some name tags. This is my life for the next while, everybody. It's time to just sit out here and gather up some fish. I think I might need to get an enchanted fishing rod, to be honest. Otherwise, this is going to be painful. Very, very painful. I have successfully acquired seven name tags. They're all named Piggy Boy. And we've got four mine carts, and I think we got that fifth one down here as well, which would be absolutely fantastic for us. So if we can get five piglins in there, they're just going to be kind of chilling in that point. There's the fifth mine cart. Anybody out here that wants to come home with me? Any piggy boys? Piggy boy with a gold chest plate. Any other piggy boys? Does not look like it. Oh, he just disappeared. I was running towards him. He's just like, poof. Oh, there's one right here. Hey, buddy. Come on. This way. Yep. Exactly where you want to go. Right over here. Right here. Piggy. Piggy. Piggy boy. Piggy boy, hey, 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 you're mine, piggy boy, hello, how are you doing today? Oh, he even gave me string, how kind of him. I will meet you in your new home, buddy, off you go, off you go now. Okay, goodbye now, it's been great, it's been great having you. You head on home, okay? Oh, you are so close, you are so, no, piggy, over here, over here, look, gold, look, gold, shiny, look, even more gold. Go get that gold. No, no, go get that gold. Good boy. Come on, get in the mic. Yes, thank you. You got to name you two so you don't disappear as you're going. All right, let's make sure these two guys are both safe. Home and sound. That'll be good. I guess if our piglins are riding in style, why the heck aren't we riding in style? We can take the minecart back home too. It's going to be great. I think this is actually the first time I've ever ridden in a minecart inside. Oh, now we're all... Mm. We're our own totem pole of piggies. And there we go. We have five piggy boys, home safe and sound. And this is going to be very, very nice for being able to actually set up a farm later on. Oh, I'm so excited. But I think right now we can still... Do you grab it? Yes, you do. We can at least trade with them like this. So this is... Can you... You're not... Yeah, we got to separate these two. But they can still trade with us. So that's great. We at least have five down here that we can trade some things with. And we got a splash potion of fire resistance. Here y'all go. You're all fire resist now. Enchanted book? Oh, we got soul speed. Oh, we're going to go put that on the boots right now. That is a very long list of enchantments for a pair of boots, but I will take that. That was 19 levels. I don't know if that was worth it, but uh, we got it now. So now we can run super fast on soul sand, which is going to be fantastic. But folks, unfortunately, I think that's going to have to do it for today's episode. I think next time we will get a lot more sorted on the castle as well as building a little bit more for our piggies here so we can actually have something going on that. But let me know on the discussion in the beginning of today's episode. Should we stay in this area? Should we go back to the old area? Let me know what you got to say on that one. I'm going to be here chilling with my piggy boys and I will catch you. No, no. Before that, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And with that, I will catch you on the flip side. P.S. Make sure you turn on the notification bells. Cool. Thanks. Bye.